Hi, I'm Sergeant Nathan Harris with the La Plata County Sheriff's Office, and I'm standing in front of our new um, Max Pro rescue vehicle. We've got that through a military surplus program. A few months ago, we've got it re-outfitted for more civilian use at this point. It's ready and operational. This vehicle can be used for any kind of emergency type situation, uh, fire rescue, flood rescue, any kind of other police emergency type situations. It's a bulletproof vehicle, so it could be used in a you know, active gunman situation, any type of emergency situation that could come up. It's very fun to drive, basically a big truck. Very easy to drive, it's an automatic transmission, and fairly user friendly. So the Max Pro is 37,000 pounds, 18 ton vehicle, four wheel drive, eight feet across, 10 feet tall. Got a 41 inch clearance, so it can be taken anywhere. I'm Dan Bender with La Plata County Sheriff's Office. What we have uh, behind me right now is our maximum protection vehicle. Some people may ask why is the vehicle like that needed in, in this area, such a quiet area. We live in a beautiful area. This area is full of good people, but there are some people who are a threat to the public and it does happen here. Just during my career here, I can think of over a dozen incidents. We had someone in Wildcat Canyon fire an AK-47 at their family members as they ran down a driveway. Only when the aardvark arrived, our previous armored vehicle, did the subject surrender. Years ago, there were two Durango police officers shot. When someone came to their aid, they were out in the open. The shooter also shot that person that was trying to help them. Uh, the shooter said later that he had his crosshairs on the firemen and EMS people. Our reason he didn't shoot them because he viewed those as non-combatants. We had a 911 call from a family about another family member uh, in the Grandview area. When officers arrived, they, he opened fire on them, uh, hitting their car. There was a, a subject between here and Ignacio that his house on fire. And when officers and EMS showed up, he fired several rounds through the windshield and hood of that car. And I can go on and on with events like that have happened right here. This vehicle is not an aggressor vehicle. It's designed primarily to stop bullets. When people are shooting bullets at the public or at officers, this is something that can help protect them. The maximum protection vehicle has on the side of it rescue vehicle, and that's primarily what its function is. If we have flooding, I know uh, last year when they had the flash floods over on the east slope, there's vehicles like this that was able to get in and, and rescue people. It's a high profile vehicle in that it sets up high. It can get through debris where other vehicles may not be able to reach people that need help. We had missionary ridge fire. There were some places that were quite iffy for us to go in regular vehicles. Uh, this vehicle not only is large and has armor protection, it also has fire retardant systems both on the inside and the outside of the vehicle that would allow it to get through at least some fires if uh, people's lives were at risk.